your hands behind your back. Dominic, you got a taser? From getting mad after being seen talking to minors to getting caught abusing an eight-year-old, here are 10 times when cops serve instant karma to predators. I got a 12-year-old girl saying that you had your hands down and you went like this. I'm a scared. Take me. Welcome back to Mr. Law. It's Ethan Lostein. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, but let's get straight into it. July 5th, 2018, City of Titusville Police Department officers spotted a man with an active warrant for home invasion and sexual assault. The officers approached the suspect, later identified as 32-year-old Benjamin Hoven, who tried to escape but was quickly apprehended. Arms behind your back. Now, hands on your back. 10 4 be back on 1, send me 94. 7 43, tassel. Send me 94. 36, you're right over there. Come over here now. I'm in front of the gas quick right now. I got a white male on the ground. Handcuff him right now. Benjamin Hoven was charged with home invasion, sexual battery, and kidnapping. This predator was caught trying to meet up with a minor. On July 15, 2023, Velocia Sheriff's Office deputies arrested 29-year-old Brandon Keith Donato, who had previously sexually assaulted a 12-year-old twice in the previous week. The officers caught him by pretending to be the same 12-year-old and arranging a third meeting. And Donato took the bait and got caught trying to meet up with a minor once again. Sheriff's office, stop right now! Put it in park! Put the car in park! Come here, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. I'm on you, by me. Both hands out the window or I'm going to send my dog, you're going to get bit. Keep your hands up. Put your hands in the air. Up. Reach for the sky. With your right hand, you're going to reach for the sky. Hands up. Step back, put your chest down, chest down. Anything illegal on you. Anything gonna poke me, stab me, any narcotics, any firearms, any needles. All right, you can have a seat in my car. <coughs> Watch your head get in. You're gonna need to move your knee over, so that way the door can shut. Brandon Keith Donato was charged with two counts of lewd or lascivious battery on a child, showing obscene material to a minor, promoting the sexual performance of a child, using a computer to solicit a child, 
traveling to meet after using a computer to solicit a child and unlawful use of a two-way communication device to facilitate a felony. This man broke into a woman's home. Touch her privates? No. You touch up here? No. Touch her anywhere through no, here? No. Did you touch her like right here or did yeah. you touch her down here on her I butt? Just over here. On her side? Yeah, on her side. On March 7, 2023, Ohio police officers were dispatched to a residence after receiving a report of a man breaking into a woman's house and attempting to assault her the previous week. Fortunately, the woman managed to fight him off. How you doing? Come right here. Come around for me. I'm gonna explain to you what's going on here Bring in a second. How do you say, is it a shoot? Yes. A shoot? A shoot, you speak good English? Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to make sure these don't tighten up, okay? Uh, can I wear huh? Can I wear boots? You have some shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, how's your family going to do it? Uh, hey, listen. I, I have the outside. You have outside? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to read you your rights, okay? Okay. Your cell phone? Yeah. Okay. Aku Dimol denies the accusations. Decided any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand? Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened? I didn't do nothing. I just touched the hair and just just hold the just one like that. You touch, where did you touch her? I know uh, this guy. Over here. On her side? Yeah. Just make just joking. Joking? Yeah. Okay, did you you said you touched her hair? Yeah. You touch her privates? No. You touch up here? No. You touch her anywhere through no, here? No. Did you touch her like right here or did yeah. you touch her down here on I her just butt? Touch over here. On her side? Yeah, on her side. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which shoes, okay, so, uh, yeah. shoes do you need? This one's? She's saying that you touched her inappropriately, okay? No, no. Okay, well that's why you're that's why you're under arrest right now, okay? Okay. Alright, don't spit in the back of my car, okay? okay. Slide underneath of it. Him, right? I found a gun. I didn't get this. She's out of the car, but I need to come here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. You good? Okay, sit back. Look that way. Thank you. You're good. Dimio was charged with aggravated burglary, kidnapping, gross sexual imposition, and abduction. This 30-year-old touched a minor at Walmart. Okay, let's go up on your butt. We'll stand you up in the concrete, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> On May 22, 2021, Wisconsin police were dispatched to a bar where a suspect accused of groping a 10-year-old girl five months prior was working. The officers located the suspect, 30-year-old Josie Amon, who, after realizing that he was in trouble, attempted to flee. Hey, Josie. Officer Flatten. This is a little bit more uh, urgent for me, so I decided to just come down and talk to you here. Um, I need to talk to you about an incident where you're my suspect. Okay, do you have any idea what I'm referring to? Okay, you ever been to the Onalaska Walmart? Times okay, okay. Um, in May, we got a complaint from a parent and a young girl. 
at the Walmart on Alaska, Ben Ball View. Anything ring a bell to that? Okay. Have you ever been at the Walmart where uh, you got chased out of the store? No. No? Okay. So we've, we've got video of you getting chased out of Walmart by a, a mom. I don't know. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I, I do. Uh, am I under arrest? Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more, but... Uh, you had previously... Would you agree that this is you? No? Okay. Is this your truck? Definitely not. No? Is that something you've ever driven? No, I don't even have a topper on my truck. Okay. I just extend your cab. You don't think that resembles you in the slightest? No? I'm not going to agree to that. Okay, so... <clears throat> So the incident is that you reported to us that you had grabbed a, a child buttock in a grocery aisle. No? Okay. So we reviewed video and watched the suspect of this whole thing prior to this incident with the juvenile. It was inside Subway, bought a sub sandwich. Use your debit card. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody used my debit card, you said? Well, you. In a Subway? Yep, on Alaska Walmart Subway. Okay. So walked into the store, the vestibule goes in the subway, gets some food, eats and stuff, and goes into the store. Okay. You still wanna tell me you, you have no idea what I'm talking about? Okay. Are you the only one that would you have your debit card? Or do you share with people who look a lot like you? I uh, Huh? No, I don't know. No? Okay. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Dominic, you got taser? You're under arrest for sexual assault of a minor. Do you have any questions? Josie? Are you injured at all? I don't know. Okay. I think I'm sick and I need help. What do you mean? Like, like you're gonna puke right now or something else? Something else. All right. We're gonna sit you up, bud. Roll over your side. This way. Okay, let's go up on your butt. We'll stand you up in the concrete. You ready? One, two, three. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. There we go. You lost? No. I was over at my school and I was like, oh. No. You okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm a little winded. I haven't ran in a while. That's all right. Not all after you guys. <laughs> yeah. We're not too far. Okay, I was gonna say, if not, I'm gonna get a ride. 
<laughs> Josie Ma was charged with first degree sexual assault of a girl under the age of 13 and resisting an officer. This predator kidnapped an eight year old girl. On May 18, 2019, the Fort Worth Police Department received a report of a kidnapped eight year old girl. The next day, the police tracked down the suspect later identified as 51 year old Michael Webb, who was hiding at a hotel with the victim. The officers rescued the girl and arrested the predator. Something? Here, just sure. go, baby. Can we get her out? Come here. Come here. Two scenes. Let's go. Come on, sweetheart. You're okay? You safe? We got you. You're gonna be okay. We got her. Hold the door. Hey, hey, back off, guys. Back off. Please, just back off. Riz, they found her. They found her. We have her. Hey, hey, let's go. Let's get her in here so she can sit down. Guys, listen. Just, just stay there for me, okay? Hey, do me a favor. This is the father. This is the father. Okay, okay. Just hold on, okay? Place called? What's this it's place? it's the the Woodward Suites. Woodward Suites. Are it's it's in Forest Hill. Parkway. The suspect was promptly arrested. Michael Webb was charged with kidnapping and sexual assault. This predator tried abducting a 16-year-old girl. Yeah, I gotta do all this. Yeah. Put your feet in. I'll roll the windows down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in the car with you and hang out. You want that out of your way? On April 29, 2022, police officers received a report of an attempt at kidnapping. A 16-year-old girl was waiting for the bus on her way to school when a man in a car approached her and tried dragging her inside his car. The girl fought back and the suspect drove off. The police located the suspect a few hours later at a gas station and quickly apprehended him. We gotta talk to you. Got an idea on you? Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you in a second. Someone's gonna come and talk to you here and explain everything's going on. You got an ID? Alright. You put your ID out, my man. Hey, ID, sir? Well, someone's gonna come talk to you. Just... I'm going to jail? No. You got your ID on? Huh? No. Oh, okay. You be out you be out of the car in handcuffs right now if you were, my man. Alright. Are you the owner of the car? Yes I am. You got valid license and stuff? Yes. Okay. Alright. Just relax, my man. It'll all be we, we gotta talk to your passenger. Alright, it doesn't even involve you. So relax. Alright, someone's gonna come up and talk to, talk to them. Oh, so I didn't do anything? No. What the? I'm not even here. What? Well, he's coming up. He's talking to somebody right now. You can probably see him in your mirror. See him back there? He'll come talk to you in one second. Oh, 
What's your first name? What's your first name? De'Aaron? Yeah. Uh, De'Aaron Jackson. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I honestly don't hear. I would tell you. Yeah. Yeah. We they they wanted us to stop the car so they could talk to. So relax. It's more of a. Not you. All right. All right. Here's a driver if you need any. I already got rid of stuff. What's up, man? Why don't we get him separate? Why don't we get them separate? Hey, De'Aaron, you want to come back and sit in my car and he can talk to you in private? I'm in trouble? No. If you're, like I said, my man, if you're in trouble, we already grabbed you out of the car and your car's in park and everything. The suspect steps out of the car and gets arrested. And he's a sergeant, so. Right. He'll be able to answer any questions you got, okay? I'll get my keys out my phone. Your car's fine, you know, man. Ain't no one gonna your shit. Yeah, we'll learn. Yeah. Just relax, he'll talk to you. I think she's she playing some game or something on people. Yeah, let's see back here. Look, your passenger. Wait, you, you, you know him that well? Yeah, that's my friend. Alright. Uh, he's gonna he wants to talk to her. Is it her or him? What is it? Well, she identify as her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rude or insensitive. I just didn't know which way to go with it. And there's no easy way of talking about it. Just have a seat and he'll come He'll come talk to you. He wants to talk to her. Something's going on with her. Yeah, I got to do all this? Yeah. Put your feet in. I'll roll the windows down. I'm going I'm to sit in the car with you and hang out. You want that out of your way? Yeah. Just slide that over there, right? He was charged with abduction. This registered offender was caught talking to minors. Yeah. Well, me going back to prison because some damn dumb ass kid wants to get someone in trouble and didn't do anything. On July 14, 2023, sheriff's deputies received a report of a registered sex offender talking to a 10-year-old boy on the street. Deputies arrived at the scene and talked to the witnesses before locating the suspect and arresting him. It's got yellow lights on top? Yep. Okay. He was a How you doing this? Good. Oh, the, this one? Yeah, upstairs. Yeah, but he's, upstairs. He said he's not there. It's oh. the only car he drives. So. He drives a red SUV. You know what kind? Like uh, a Ford? It's a Ford. Or Ford SUV. Okay. Awesome. All right. You guys got a yellow light on top. Okay. All right. If you happen to see him come home tonight, would you mind giving us a call? Sure. Okay. Just call the sheriff's know. office. Yeah. Sure. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I, I got a camera here pointed over the other way, so. All right. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you. Come in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Up the corner. Awesome. Yep. Got it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Officers located the suspect and confronted him. How's it going? I'm good. How you doing? You have any idea why I'm here? No, I don't. None whatsoever? Where were we at earlier today, about 5.30? I was over there on, over there on 600 West Columbus. I was, was with some of my co-workers. Okay. You, were you by yourself? You were with them? I was with them. I was driving my own vehicle, and they were driving their van. So you were in your own vehicle, and they, yes. were, they were behind you then, or what? Yeah, we stopped. Okay. So were you at uh, Columbus and uh, Carolina Street there? Yeah, right at, that, right at that location. Okay, and then what, what did you do while you were there? We were getting, getting pictures of the work that we got to do there. Because we got to fix that roof there. Okay. And some piping, that's all we got to do there. All right. Was there any kids around? Yes, they had their kids with them. Uh, other than those kids, was there any other kids around? Any nope. kids on a bike or anything? I had their no? kids around on the bicycle, but I didn't pay attention to them. You didn't talk to them or anything? Nope. Are you sure? Yeah. So I got some witnesses to say you were talking to them. No. No? Nope. You just take your hand out of your pocket for me. Uh, so you weren't talking to a little 10 year old uh, black kid there on the corner? No. None whatsoever? Nope. I'm telling the truth. Okay. And another uh, guy didn't run you off or anything? No, we got a guy over there that thinks he's all big and bad and never thinks he owns the road. What did he, what he say to you? He was saying, if you're going to talk to little kids, come talk to me. Thank you, he's all big. So why would he say that if you weren't talking to kids? 
because you've probably seen me talking to the two boys. Okay. Now, but that's the only two kids I talk to. And so that's it? Those yep. are my babies. Okay. okay. And they, they know about my past. They're comfortable with it. All right. What's wrong, Bobby? Well, we'll we're going to figure that out. We'll talk to you here in a minute, okay? All right, so that's all that happened. You, yep. So after he told you to, to leave, you just left? Uh, I, after we got done there, I just kept on driving. I didn't stop, except for the stop signs. Okay. I no, I plan up ignored him. All right. Do you mind uh, taking your kids inside for a minute? Uh, can you take a minute? I plan up and ignored that guy. just went on about my business. Okay. All right. Well, so right now, uh, that's not the story we're getting. So what I need you to do is turn around, put your hands behind your back. Going to jail for not getting committed to crime. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I'm just grabbing his keys. All right, hands behind your back. Nice. Going to jail for not even committing a mother crime. What crime? Yeah, what crime? Working. He's with us today. Do we need to? No. Sir. Yeah. He was with us. It don't, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. I can be in no brand of the goddamn world. Like, oh no! This is what I'm doing! Alright, come over here, like. What the hell? Don't let me catch right. him! Right. Get your camera on. Yep. Yeah. You got anything on you? Nope. Nothing, no needles, no knives, whatever. No, I don't do drugs. Alright, I just gotta ask, ask everybody, okay? You have to play the key out for me? There. Thanks. Oh, 30, yeah, 600. Criminal child enticing. Oh, that bullshit. I wasn't even talking to a goddamn kid. But according to everything uh, I do, it's against the law. You mentioned that you saw a kid on a bike, and that just happens to be the one that said you talked to him. So. Yeah, well, I never talked to him, no. People will say anything just to get someone in trouble. You shouldn't know that. Yeah. Well, me going back to prison because some damn dumb kid wants to get someone in trouble and didn't even do anything. What the f***ing happened? Jerks. Alright, let's see it in there. Alright, let's see it That key, do you need that left here? The little uh, yeah, that goes to my truck. Goes there, and I'll take your wallet and your phone with you, okay? Shockingly, one of his neighbors protested the arrest. Did in my access? Huh? What's he doing with his stuff? So I know. This is going with him, and then you can have that. He said that goes with the truck. It does. Um, can I find out what's going on? That's like a brother to me. I I, I know his charge. And everything. He's never made no attempts towards my kids. That's not your kids. He, it's not. It's not I mean, your kids. He just ate dinner with us. Okay. Well, we have. And he was with us today, most of the day. Most of the day. Okay. Well, so we and have Gil other witnesses. Gilbert witness is a witness to Gilbert Myers. You don't even know where this happened at. No. All right. So then, how are they, how are they going to be a witness if they don't even know where it's at? I'm just trying to find out what's going on. All right. Is there anything I need to be concerned about? No. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, is that his four? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, you want me to I'll... grab some pictures of it? Yeah, if you would. Let me make sure my dog ate out first. Oh. Because I do have a red and blue nose pit. That's oh, bad. you do. Okay. Is this is this a drive pulling right here around the house? Um, if you go up here to the stop sign, you turn left. The driveway's out off that road. Oh. The predator wasn't saved by his neighbors. So obviously you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed or... 
appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. You could decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any question or make any statements. Do you understand these rights if I explain to you? Yep. All right. it, it doesn't matter what I say. Now Just because of my past, everybody thinks I'm going to do it again. They need to quit worrying about me and worrying about the people who's going to have to molest the kids. Okay, well, said, um, I've got enough, obviously, to arrest you. Uh, well, on hearsay, that's all it is. Well, you'll have your day in court, okay? People just do that to get me thrown in prison because they're afraid I'm going to go out and do it again. Look how long it's been since I've done it. I have no idea. I don't know. This since is, this 1994. Is the, this is the first time that I've ever had any contact with you. So I, I don't even know you or your past. Okay. You guys are going to believe a f***ing kid over, over who gives you who's been committed to that crime. It wasn't just a kid. There was other people. Everyone's going to say that I've done something when I didn't f***ing even do anything. Well, I understand that, but right now, I have enough to arrest you, and then uh, you'll have your day in court, and then... Yeah, there goes my f***ing job. Of course, you guys don't give a f***ing. Nobody gives a f***ing about me. He was charged with child endangerment in violation of sex offender registration requirements. This predator touched a 12-year-old at a theme park. You passed by and went like this. I got a 12-year-old girl saying that you had your hands down and you went like this. On February 4, 2022, Orlando police officers were dispatched to Universal Volcano Bay in reference to a disorderly man who was accused of touching a 12-year-old girl. The officers arrived at the park and made contact with the suspect, later identified as 37-year-old James Stewart Evans. I have an ID with you. Yeah. Where are you from? Originally. I mean, where are you from? Do you live here in the States? UK. Uh, UK? Okay. Are you going to do me? No, are you, not, uh, are you with the cops yeah. on? I don't know. As long as those cops don't come on, you're good. Once I put the cops in, you're going to start worrying about it, right? So as long as you don't have cops on you, you're good, right? So chill for a second while I do my thing, okay? Let me tell you what's, ha what's happening, Mr. Evans, okay? There's always three sides to the story, okay? There's their side, your side, and I need to figure it out what happened. Not only to figure it out what happened, I need to know if I have enough to make an arrest, okay? You're telling me you went like this. I didn't know what this. Can, 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 can I tell? Can I tell my side? Yeah, okay. of course you can. Yeah, yeah. You tell me you went like this. I don't really know. Can I stay on my side without you interrupting me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah, of course. You're telling me you passed by and went like this. I got a 12-year-old girl saying that you had your hands down and you went like this. Touching part of her. She's a 12-year-old. I agree. That's, okay. That's wrong. Okay, so now, not only that, when she tried to confront you, the mom, you ran away. I was just trying to hear. Well, you ran away. Okay? I, I don't remember that. Well, you ran away because you were over here before everybody else. I went for a way, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. You're lucky enough I don't have an uh, independent witness, that's what we call, okay? You're lucky enough I don't have independent witness because right now you would have been going to jail. You go Orlando on, pro on vacation, you come back on probation. So you're lucky that I don't have enough, but this is what's going to happen. They're going to take you out of the park for today. Okay. You're not going to be able to be in the park today. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah I'm still going to do a report. It's still going to be there. And please don't make me call your, your embassy because they fine. take that kind of stuff. Uh, seriously, the UK Embassy, they don't like that kind of game. I don't know how it is in UK, but in the US, we take this very seriously. Okay. And you are very lucky. I don't have enough, so you will go to jail. Do you understand? Yeah. Mr. Evans, where are you staying here in the uh, United States? Are you staying in a hotel? Or you, where are you staying at? A hotel. Which hotel is that? The uh, Coronated Springs. What is it? Coronated Springs. Coronated Springs? Yeah. Where is that at? Disney. I have to say, like, this is crazy. It's crazy that you pass by and almost touched some girls. Uh, 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 so, because I, like, backed in somebody. Listen, I saw where it happened. I saw you had enough space to walk away. I walked around so, her. Because I had a drink. And I am walking along. Yeah, if I were you, I just shut my mouth and walk out. I am. If I make an arrest of you, I gotta contact your embassy. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be uh, very happy that one of their cities is acting like a, somebody who should be act, like someone should be acting like.
The sidewalk's pretty. It's pretty big. Yeah. Have you ever been drunk? I was just there. Have you ever been drunk? Come on, guy. I'm 51 years old, and I was in the military. Do you think I ever been drunk? Yes. I've been been drunk. So you walk along, and you do a thing by before you keep on talking. I'm accepting. Hold on. I'm accepting you. I know you're accepting me because we're about to go to jail. Do you know what? I don't. I don't care about the jail. I'm Mr. You. Evans, I'm respecting you. I appreciate I'm respecting that. You. I appreciate that. I'm respecting you too. But you had enough space. No. I mean, yeah, I, I know. I, I but know. I was drunk and okay, I was walking along. Okay, listen, Let me do my thing. Just, just, just do me a favor. I don't yeah. want to be disrespectful. Just shut your mouth while I get done, yeah, so you yeah. can get it. And I respect you. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate that. You're old enough to know that if you drink too much and you can barely walk, you should stop drinking. I agree. And that's why I'm taking the punishment. Okay. Well, that's different to like accepting that I want to be around those girls because I don't. Okay. We're almost done, Mr. Evans. Just okay. uh, give me a few. I'm sorry. I am sorry. It's okay. They can okay. have a good Okay, time. Mr. Well, Evans. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. But do you have a vehicle? Uh, you have keys to get into your vehicle? No, it's okay. We can. As he was being escorted out of the park, Evans decided to get himself into trouble. Did you just follow you and were trying to hide from me? I fell. Really? That bad, huh? Yeah. Do we need a wheelchair for you? Or I you genuinely good? fell. <laughs> Come on, man. I genuinely fell. Like, if you watch the video, well, <laughs> then you see I fell. Well, I'm glad you got a sense of humor on that. Just take a right over here. Just take a right. Please don't fall. Whoa! <laughs> Please do not fall, sir. Let's, let's try not to... Take me to jail! Let's, I tell you let's to take me to jail. Go on. Don't, do it. Don't. Watch. Do it. I watch it. Go. I, Take me to jail now. Go. Take me to jail. Go. Take me to jail. Just don't stop. Take me to jail. I'm here now. Take me to jail. See what you got. Just take a right over here on the, at the end. I'll do the f- I want. Take a right. Oh, oh, oh. Right? Right? You say right? Oh, right. Okay. You're a f- okay. That's it. Win. Country, I don't give a about any of you, okay? You're pathetic. You're actually pathetic. I told her that I go to Union Square 20 Bravo, the line is number 5 on the left side. Fairwinds Credit Union. Woo! Cross Street to build a stride. Hey! The 29 Bravo at Fairwinds Credit Union is the side. I'll hold up. Taylor, number 3. Oh, let me, let me explain so something to you. Guys, let, me explain something. let me explain something. Let me explain something. So there's something called disorderly intoxication. I already have enough to take you. So don't make me happy. Turn around and take the way right there. Turn around. Turn around. Take me. Turn around. Take me. Turn around. I don't care. Take me. They haven't canceled yet. They got a call to try to cancel it. I'm not scared. Take me. I don't even care. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Enough. 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 Okay. Enough. Enough. Okay. 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 Enough. Volcano Bay, possibly. You can do what you want. Come in. Single 44 for Oscar, 440. Volcano Bay, South Blue. It's not going to go anywhere. Primary for Pro-Way. Can I just say you broke my phone? You broke my, um, you broke my f***ing glasses? You're going for the solar intoxication, sir. Yeah. Let's f***ing try that. Yeah. Try that. Look at you, sir. Yeah, he's around the office. Okay. Put your hands back now! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break your f***ing wrist in a minute. No, let's break it! That's okay, see what f***ing happens. I'm gonna taste you. Good, taste it. Get back, get back, get back, back! I'm gonna taste you, you better stop moving. You're you know stopped. what tasting is? You're stopping. You know stop what tasting is? You're gonna get it in a second. Put your arms behind I'm your back. I'm about to taste one. Put your arm behind your back. Put your hands behind your back, that I'm gonna taste you. That you've got no authority to do that. Put your arm... Sir, please put back your hands, now! I'm not doing anything. Put your hands behind your back, I'm gonna taste you. I'm not doing anything. Put your hands in the back. Look at me. Put your hands in the back. I want to do the other hand now, please. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, now put your other hand behind your back. Do it now, dude. Do it now. 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 Do
trying to rest on hold on. Now! Oh, I'm not trying to do anything! Now! Just put your hands back now! Oh, put your hand behind your back! Now! Put your hand behind your back! Let go! Sit down! Hold on. Hey, 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 it bends this way. It bends this way. Hey, go up to it now. Yeah. You have to help me. There you go. There you go. Fire. You can't help me. Eventually, he was subdued, calmed down, and accepted his fate. Well, let us do what we got to do, okay? We're going to try to get you, get you through this process as quickly as possible, properly, and on your way. I don't want to cause any problems for anyone. Take a picture of his face. I want you to know I'm sorry. I can if you want. Just get one of your face. Did you want them to take a look at you here? Okay. Maybe? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Do you want to go to the hospital? Okay. James Stewart Evans was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting an officer with violence, and battery on a law enforcement officer. This cheer coach molested his students. It's easier if you put your butt in first and then just kind of spin in there. So I'm going to bring these back to your, your wife, okay? Because you have cash in here and, and bringing cash into... In March 2022, Florida police were dispatched to arrest 41-year-old Vigilant Haiti after accusations of him sexually abusing his students surfaced. All right, give me a second. Sorry, bitch. Can they be in front of me? Can they, can they handcuffs be in front of me? We'll see, but I, usually I, no. Okay. We'll, we'll, yeah. I'll do what I can. I'm doing everything I can to make you comfortable. Give me a second set of these. Give me, give me a second. I got, I got something that, that might work. You want to walk over the ball? Yeah, let's walk over here. Give, go ahead and here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Take them off. Take them off. <laughs> come here. 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 Come over here to my car. Come over here to my car. So I'm not standing out in the middle of the road. Right. Just stand still for a second. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. Hey. Do you have any type of anxiety or anything like that? No? Okay, come here, come here. I got my phone in my phone. We got your phone. And my keys in my pocket. Okay. 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 You're not handcuffed right now. I want you to remain calm and be cool, okay? There's an outstanding warrant issued for your arrest. It's out of Lake County, okay? So your beef is not with us, okay? I understand, Sergeant House, and you have a relationship, okay? We want to maintain professionalism and respect, okay? But we still have a job for you, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to get you secured. We're going to confirm the warrant, okay? We will provide all the information with you, okay? And we will be, like I said, cordial, respectful, and mindful, okay? After the Haiti calmed down, the officers informed him about what was happening. So what's, what's happening is there's a warrant. Somebody, somebody in Lake County or Claremont, I forget who it is, mm -hmm. has probable cause for charges. Okay. okay they've got a $30,000 bond. So that means you got to go see a bondman. You're going to have to pay that bondsman 10% of that $30,000. What is that? What's what? Three $3,000. To a bondsman. These aren't my charges. I have no idea what the what the details are. Yeah, they were just they they called us and said, "Hey, we would like you to go and pick him up." So, so, okay. I can't ask ask me whatever questions you want. Attorney, not right now. But whenever, because we, we got to take you to the Orange County Jail, because we can't go to Lake County. Orange County? We got to take you to the Orange County Jail. So I got to get a bondsman from Orange County. So here's here's the tricky part. Once you get there, you're going to be put in a big room full of telephones. 
Make all of your phone calls then. I don't know the numbers. What? I'll get you. We'll get you a piece of paper with all the numbers. Any numbers you want, we'll get you a piece of paper. Okay. Okay. Well, what if my attorney says they're not allowed to use my phone? What do you mean? Like to get my phone. So here's what's going to happen. Your attorney can't tell us not to seize your phone. If they if they feel like if so, I don't know the case. So I'm just giving you very general information here. Okay. If the detective or the the police officer who ever got this warrant. If they can show to a judge that they have probable cause that there is evidence on your phone of a crime, either this one or, or another one, whatever, then they can petition that judge for a search warrant. If that judge grants a search warrant, then they can go through your phone and your attorney can't stop them because they'll be given a, a search warrant by, the, by a judge. Okay? I'm just taking my, your phone per their di direction. I'm not going through your phone. I'm not going to look at your phone. The only thing we might do is we'll open it up and get the phone numbers that you want. Which okay, and you'll presence. be you'll be in view to see what we're how we're manipulating your phone to and, see what we're getting. And everything on our end is being audio and video. Recorded. Okay. So if if they don't have probable cause to go through your phone, then you'll get your phone back and, and that'll be the end of it. But again, I don't know any details. I'm just giving you general information on how it usually usually works. Okay. The police collected his phone containing damning evidence and arrested him. First and then just kind of spin in there. So I'm going to bring these back to your, your wife, okay? Because you have cash in here and, and bringing cash into the jail is... Because they put it fun. into a machine and then they you don't get the cash back. Here. There you go. If you want to just lay back, I'm, I'm okay with that. Because I don't know that you're going to be able to spin your feet in there. Oh, tell, me, tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. It just pinched. Okay. I couldn't move what, do you, my what do you need me to do? Um, I, try to, I was trying to slap back. I can't get my hands back in. You got the. Oh, here. I can push you back. Step right there. There you go. Right, that's as far as I can go over here. All right. Can you get in there? Can you spin around? It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. If, if you don't have to spin around if you can't. <laughs> Can you listen to the bell right there? Let's see if I get more room. There you can you get your foot? There's more room up in here if you can get your foot in there. There you go. I don't want to get Here, let's do, let's do this. Pull your feet back out and just go ahead and lay back. Is that, is that, is that going to be better? You can literally put your feet up here. Are you good? Are you good there? Okay. Are you all right? No, I, I mean, are you sitting okay? <laughs> you got any more questions before you go? Alright. Alright, she can try to make it quick as she can, alright? Alright. Um, can you just call her? Can we, how long will it take before it's going to be? It's, it's going to be a few hours, okay? It's going to be a few hours, and worst case, and I'm, I'm being 100% honest with you, Vidge. I don't want to hide anything from you. Yeah. Worst case scenario, Sierra One. Um, if they're going to extradite you, you'll have to stay. That means take you to, to Lake County. You'll have to wait at Orange at the Orange County Jail until they transport you to Lake County, and then you'll get bonded out in Lake County. And it's a 50-50 shot. I don't know how they do it. I don't know the process or how they decide it. I'm just letting you know there's a possibility that you might have to stay there till Monday or Tuesday until you go to Lake County. I don't know their schedule. I don't know how it works. I just know that it... Sometimes the way that the jails work, they'll allow you to get uh, bonded out from the arresting county because these, this is two counties. This warrant was issued in Lake County. We're arresting you in Orange County. We can't take you to Lake County. We can only take you to Orange County. So if they're going to extradite, then they'll transport you to Lake County and you'll get bonded out there, okay? And I don't know, I don't know if this is one of those cases or not. The vast majority of time, you just get bonded out in, in Orange County. The best thing to do is have Kelly call in about three hours. It's a long booking process. Okay. I gotta call my school. Which school? Orange County. Uh, like, uh, uh, they gotta call the school board. 
Kelly can handle that. You don't need to worry about that right now. Okay? Uh, will I get a chance to talk to her? To Kelly? Whenever you get to the jail, you're going to have unlimited access to phones. You can just start making phone calls. Yeah, that means you long distance. Vigilant Haiti was charged with possession and production of child sexual abuse images and videos and enticement of a minor to engage in sexual activity. This predator was caught by a police decoy pretending to be a minor. Did she send you pictures of her sexy toes? One, then I deleted it because I didn't want it. Not like On April 7, 2022, Oklahoma police officers arrested 48-year-old Sylvester Prince, who was trying to meet up with minors. He was one of many predators caught in a sting operation where officers pretended to be minors online looking for adults to meet up with. How old? Yeah, I'm uh, moving all that stuff in my house yesterday. Yeah, yeah. But my brother gave me, gave us a lot of furniture and a bed. Yeah, how long you live here? We've been here about a year and something. Hmm. I just didn't want to get in no trouble or nothing. I'm just trying to be uh, like friends to people. That's all. Nothing the else. around here or what? Just around the world. Around the world? Just uh, try to make friends. How do you just, do that? Just talk to them and ask them a role model and stuff. I bet how do you meet friends around the world? I just uh, get on like Facebook uh -huh. and talk to people. Yeah, but Facebook you have to be friends with them, right? Yeah. Like, Find random people. Random people. Whoever uh, accept me as a friend. Random adults and random yeah. kids or what? No, adults. I, don't, I ain't trying to talk to no kids. Cause, see, that one right there, she, she told me thir she was 13. Uh, I, I didn't want to talk to her no more. She wanted to uh, meet How me. did you meet her? On uh, Me24. Me24? Is that like a dating app or what? Yes. It's supposed to be it was like a grown up dating app. Yeah. And uh, a lot of kids be going on there and getting people in trouble. How does that work? Like, do they, I don't know how the dating app works. Like so so they go on and start searching people's profiles or what? Yeah, like, uh, it, see, you must be uh, 18 and up to get on it, and they uh, be putting, like, they uh, 18 and up, but they don't be 18. Cause, see, so how does that come about that she's that young? She uh, told me, and I stopped talking. I, I wanted to talk, stop talking to her then. She uh, kept uh, texting me. Where's she from? Huh? Where's she from? I don't know. Sorry, sir. Because she says she in her uh, up home city. She's like on by 4400, Hemingway Drive, Coin Party, Epic Chase, Blackmail, Blue Hoodie, Blue Hoodie. She's going to meet me at a park yesterday. Where at? Over by the Children's House Building. Uh -huh. uh, and it has all this through text messages or messenger on Facebook or what? She uh, texts me. So through the Me24 or whatever, she yes. you exchange phone numbers? Yes. Because she uh, asked me for my phone number. She, she wanted to uh, text me. What all did you text her? Just like, let me see your little toes and stuff. Your little toes? Hey, yeah, you just ask a friend. It's a little friendly, isn't it? I didn't want to do nothing with her. Because I say that to everybody I talk to on there. You see your little toes? <laughs> 
I know this. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, some people have their different things, I guess. Yeah, I just like... Like Officers play along and it leads Prince to reveal his crimes. Toes, huh? just, like sexy legs and sexy toes. My key is grown ups. Did she send you pictures of her sexy toes? One, then I deleted it because I didn't want it. Well, it's not like you can probably tell by looking at toes how old somebody is. No. Because I, I seen a picture on uh, me 24, she was older. I didn't know she was 13 until she uh, told me. And that's when I wanted to uh, start talking to her. How long ago was that? Oh, uh, like two weeks ago when she told me that. But she's still texting you every yes. day? Still? Yeah. And, uh, Oh, Texas, I just showed y'all. Oh, uh, last night when she uh, texted me. And she uh, just texted me uh, like nine, nine o'clock this morning. That one said morning. Yeah. I didn't want, I didn't want to do nothing with nobody. I'm just not trying to get in no trouble. Have you ever been in any trouble for anything no, like that? No, sir. Where are you from before here? You said you both did your year. Where were you at before that? I used to stay out um, you know, Luke, Oklahoma. Yeah. Yep. I work all, I've, I ride all around out east there. Yeah. Well, not quite, obviously, I'm that from, far and stay out. I'm from uh, Luke. Okay. So you've been in Oklahoma anyway your whole life? Yes, sir. Born and raised. Never been filled with the law or nothing. Forty-six. never been in jail. And I work, I try to work every other day. Where do you work at? I used to, you know, uh, Sky University Center. Yep. I used to work there. Going out there on coal train? Yes, sir. Yeah. And I you know they, go out there all the time. You know, they closed down. Did they? Yeah. Someone was telling me that. I wasn't sure if they did or not. Yeah. Uh, last week. Yeah, come on. I knew it the, was recent. See, the state closes down. The state did? Yes, Why? sir. It's something that happened uh, like 10 years ago. But that's the uh, paperwork. Oh, the paperwork stuff? Mm hmm. And uh, you see, I, I seen a lot of stuff up there where they mistreat patients. Mm -hmm. That's what it was about, mistreat the patients. I think it is. Okay, you can go ahead and start one record. Be something of that nature if it was bad enough for them to close it down. Yeah. Charlie Club. Then they had a lot of fires and stuff. Prince on the call with X right 51. He made another unit in his location. Like four or ten thousand dollars of fine. Yeah, we just not trying to do any more trouble. What did you do out there at Skyview? On my floor head. I used to uh, do strip and wet floors and uh, clean rooms. Right. I understand they, you're not trying they, to get uh, in trouble. That's what we're trying to figure out what's going till on. Until they uh, put that wooden floor down. Oh, yeah. And I had uh, just go straight housekeeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't trying to. Yeah, we have our street stuff and crosswalk sign is not completely down. Sure. I just be talking to them as a friend, like if they are going through something, I just talk to them and say, tell them why I've been through. Yeah. I see a uh, ex girlfriend, he uh, cheated on me. Yeah. And uh, she had uh, another man in my bed. Her having sex when I got home from work. No, no. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I left her. Yeah. I've been single for the rest of my life since then. And that's been 12 years ago. Yeah, I suppose that's probably been enough to run you in that direction. I ain't trying to get in those relationships. Yeah, 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 all right. Come on this way.
Finally, he gets arrested. All right, where's your lighter? Oh, you didn't? Did you smoke? Did you smoke? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I didn't know if you got it so you could smoke. All right. I know, you left that cigarette, I don't know how. Yeah, how'd you light the cigarette? I got another one in my room. Oh, okay. All right. Place your fingers for me. Can I go get my tennis shoes? Your tennis shoes? Yeah, they're nah, taking from me anyway, man. Charlie 48, I go ahead and put a case number on it. Okay, Alright, let me check you one more time. Okay. Go ahead and separate your feet. Well, we're gonna let detectives look at all this and then they can make the decision on whether you're in trouble, okay? Okay. Are they mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and have a seat in there. Sylvester Prince was charged with soliciting sexual conduct of communication with minors by use of technology. 